the Midwest region of the United States. Here we are near the Sioux Although the Midwest is mostly flat land, the Great Lakes are not all the same level. Michigan Sioux Locks lift ships up 21 feet from Lake Huron to Lake Superior. That's a lot of lifting. The Waco Hall of Fame is located in Cleveland, Ohio. Because that's where Rock and Roll Milk Soup was invented. That's how Rock and Around the Clock started it all. Those songs make me want to get up and dance. Let's rock and roll on over to Illinois, home of the first open McDonald's restaurant. It opened in 1995 and one hamburger cost only 15 cents. All this talk about burgers is making me hungry. Let's go. Maybe we can ride the roller coaster when we go shopping in Minnesota's Mall of America. Silly girl, there's no roller coasters in the mall. Minnesota's Mall of America is the largest shopping mall in the U.S. It has stores, movie theaters, and an indoor roller coaster. If you spent 10 minutes in each store, it would take you four days and three nights to visit all of them. Let's talk about shots and your drop. Whew, all that shop has made me feel bad. Speaking of bad, have you ever heard of the Badlands? The Badlands are part of the Great Plains. They are located in North Dakota. The land, is, the land there is so dry and bad that it is useless for farming, but the Badlands are covered with beautiful rock formations. Now I want to visit the Badlands really bad. The Midwest region is nicknamed Tornado Alley. This area has a very high number of destructive tornadoes. Many areas even have tornado signs that warn people that a tornado is about to happen. Put the pedal to the metal. I think I can start it now. Wow, those look like faces. They are faces of four former U.S. presidents who are on the side about each head is about six stories tall. Wow, that's enormous. The Midwest also has severe winter weather. The storms are long and harsh with winter storms called blizzards. These blizzards bring heavy snow and strong winds. Midwesters have to shovel their way out of the snow to get to school and work during the winter. It's mind-blowing to know that even with all that crazy weather, the Midwest still produces 